the heart of love happy the heart that learns to love with the love of god god is love love will god with the love he gave in christ happy the heart that lives in the heart of god the heart of love happy the heart that learns to love with the love of God. in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen. amen the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a very good morning to you my dear friends a vineyard is a well-known sign of the people of Israel. A vineyard has to be fruitful. If it is not fruitful, then it is destroyed. God is the owner of this great vineyard. We have to make our lives fruitful. Otherwise, the judgment will come on us. Length is a time given to us to make our lives fruitful. Let us then recall to mind our failings and seek God's grace during this season of length. Together we confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant we pray that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his sons, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a robe of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock at Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. They saw him from afar, and before he came near to them, they conspired against him to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes the dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then we will say that a fierce animal has devoured him, and we will see what will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, he rescued him out of their hands, saying, Let us not take his life. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Throw him into this pit here in the wilderness, but do not lay a hand on him that he might rescue him out of their hand to restore him to his father. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the robe of many colors that he wore. And they took him and threw him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. Then they sat down to eat. And looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead. 
with their camels bearing gum, balm and more on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers listened to him. Then Midianite traders passes by. They, they drew Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty shekels of silver. They took Joseph to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response will be, Remember the wonders the Lord has done. All together, remember the wonders the Lord has done. But he called down a famine on the land. He broke their staff of bread. He had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph sold as a slave. Our response, remember the wonders the Lord has done. His feet were weighed down in chains. His neck was bound with iron until what he said came to pass and the word of the Lord proved him true. Our response, remember the wonders the Lord has done. Then the king sent orders and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him master of his house and ruler of all his possession. Our response, remember, remember the, the wonders, wonders the Lord, the Lord has, has done. done. Kindly rise. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Response, glory Amen. and praise to you, O Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Response, glory, glory and, praise and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, hear another parable. There was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence round it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season for fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. And the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other servants, more than at first, and they did the same to them. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir, come, let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. When therefore the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretched to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scripture, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, those of us who have seen our vineyard will easily understand what God, Jesus is trying to say in today's parable. 
during the time of Jesus there were many vineyards and so people understood what Jesus was trying to say God's people are the great vineyard the ones who are cultivating this vineyard are the religious leaders the scribes the Pharisees the messengers are the prophets whom God is sending and they are rejected and killed by the religious leaders God knowing that his project is failing does not abandon his project he is loving and kind and merciful and so God is sending his son none other than Jesus Christ knowing that Jesus too will be killed will be crucified this parable highlights God's love patience and judgment on his people my dear friends a stone can be used to build and it can also be used to destroy a cornerstone can be a good foundation a solid stone for the believers it can also be an obstacle all through history we have noticed that there were emperors like Julian and Nero who wanted to destroy Christianity but then we find that Christianity hold firms because it is built on solid foundation no earthly power could destroy Christianity and can destroy it because Jesus Christ is the cornerstone the great foundation of the church the church is built on solid foundation Jesus is the stronghold of our lives is the foundation of our faith and so if our faith is shaken then the whole structure will collapse we are called to make our lives fruitful fruitful in service and beautiful and so length is a time given to us to bring this change into our lives just as a plow cuts through the field and the lower soil is brought to the surface unwanted things are removed from that soil and the soil is kept fertile something rich to give fruit so also our lives should be like this soil our hearts should uproot all the evil that is within us and make our lives beautiful in service service bearing fruit in our own lives and in the lives of others building God's vineyard building God's kingdom here and now may this Lenten season then be a season of grace for each one of us Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that these are offerings may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, may your merciful grace prepare your servants for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. 
And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we together acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceasingly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offering, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost, we could not approach you. You loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the wine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, 
and with our departed brothers and sisters whom we humbly condemn to your divine mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Saviour's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy of our risen Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. O Lord, having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promised to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you all have a nice day. Stay in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make 
for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hand in hand with Christ our brother is love will show we will rise and leave the house of God to all.